Hello, we are live, and I am Mark W, and this is Mark W Plays Old Games on a Thursday. I'm allowed to do that because it's a Thursday. So I am going to play Atari 2600 games tonight, um, a system that probably needs no introduction, unless you're under 40, which I guess a lot of people are. But um, this is pretty much the home console until NES came out. And you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of video gaming in other places too, like on Commodore 64. But notice I said console, so I think this is the, probably the reigning champ for years and years, as far as popularity and sales and a huge amount of games. Um, but yeah, enough of a history lesson. Let's play something. Hey, Stu, Stu says Atari 2600 is for fools. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm a fool tonight. And this is actually, you know, I was extremely young playing Atari games in my household. Um, I have extremely early memories, like being like three years old and picking up fishing derby and space invaders, and um, but yeah, this was the first one for me. That that's what I'm getting at, and I have just dumped in a whole bunch of ROMs into this emulator that I have, Open Emu, and um, as you can see, a ton of them because the Atari collection you can download like a massive zip it's like 15 megs but it's like a, a zillion and one games because that's how small they are and usually there's like 20 variants of every major game like here you can see chopper man chopper command some of them are you know pal versus ntse and then it's rom hacks of each and stuff and i wish this thing would show me the actual um full file name because it just kind of only shows me the title but i can probably figure it out by going to show in finder like so yeah in any case let me know if you'd like to see a particular game. Um, but until then, I'm going to start with this game that caught my eye that I used to have. It's called Airlock. And I heard recently people say this is like the worst game of all time or something. I don't remember it being that terrible. I remember it. I remember liking it. I don't know. But then again, I was like five years old when playing this one, probably. Uh, yeah, so this is a game where you um, are trying to you're out. You're kind of like in this multi-layered platformer level, and you're and the and the water is filling up from the bottom. I think you're supposed to go low to to the top and escape this submarine or something like that, or before you drown. Um, why don't we just jump in and play it? Okay, yeah, I'm this dude at the bottom. Oh, can't move. Okay. Oh, I didn't start yet. Okay. Yeah, a lot of Atari games they have this kind of demo. Then you press start again and it begins. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like pretty wonky with the jumping mechanics. As you would expect from a game from whatever, whatever year this was. <laughs> Obviously well before Super Mario Brothers really made it, you know. Oh, I died. What'd I do? This is called Airlocks too. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Okay, so you have to... Not drown, but I don't know what I did wrong. So you have to get these things attached to the ceiling. I don't remember what they're supposed to represent. They're like, you open up the door though, and then you go up here. And I can't remember what the heck you're supposed to. Oh, you press the left side of the wall. Okay. So this, the water is going to fill up, as you can see, and drown me if I'm not fast, basically. And I was just saying, I've, I've seen people in more recent years call this like one of the worst games of all time, and I remember kind of liking it. As you can see, it's basic. It's an Atari 2600 game, ultimately. And, and not one of the best, probably, but I think it's better than E.T., perhaps. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, I looked away, and suddenly this guy was zooming at me. Oh, I forgot they could, like, change speed. Oh. It's like, uh-oh. So I think... 12 seconds at the top right is how much time I have per level. No, I'm, I'm, I drowned. I'm dead. Sure. Yeah, again, again so this is nothing that you would you know, write home to your mama about. Oh my god, I got airlock. But I was a little perplexed hearing it. I was like, where did I even hear that? I, was, I think I was on Atari age or something, and people were talking about this game like it's the worst thing ever invented. And I was like, I don't remember it being that bad. So that's pretty much why I'm playing. And also, it just caught my eye in my ROM inventory. I saw the image of the, of the box art. I was like, hey, I remember that. And people were, sit, were talking all kinds of trash about 
Yeah, this is airlock. By, uh, what did it say the title screen? Data Age? It's funny, they don't actually say the game's title on the title screen, it just says Data Age, and it shows the submarine that you're supposed to leave. And this is like a, a strange looking submarine. I don't know what the little red guys are. I guess they're evil robots who have commandeered or are attempting to commandeer your submarine. So these guys, you can see they zoom at you when they go one direction to the right. I guess it depends on which level you're at. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I think we're about to escape the submarine before we drown. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Unless bad jumping mechanics kill me first. Okay. Uh-oh, I missed it. It's too late, though. I think I just made it. We are. Oh, look at my guy. He's like, yeah, I got escaped the submarine, but now what? He's like stranded in the middle of the ocean. It's all these fish going around <laughs> and he's like yeah i survived and you think that i think that this whole submarine is sinking too so i'm not sure what he's so excited about as you said you fell on your ass i sure did ryan how are things on long island oh ah, all good here i um i saw a fun video about how to, uh it's like american pronunciation difficulty long island i'll have to send that to you later it just has a bunch of town names and stuff so i think you can play different uh difficulty levels like like most atari games here i just I'm not sure in my emulator how I actually select those. So, um, what do you usually hit the, uh, I don't remember the names of these switches, but I think my select button might go through different game modes or something. I think I just changed something. Yeah, I'm pressing select and you can see in the top right, it goes from one to four, I guess game modes one to four. Let's try number two. I don't know what the difference is. So. It could just be difficulty. Ah. Oh no, no, get out. Ah, he's gonna. How am I gonna get out of this? Jump straight up? Yeah. Oh! Okay, I gotta go faster. Gotta go fast. Can't move. Was that the end of the game? I just. Yeah, I'm playing level 3 now, accidentally. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already dead, probably. Ryan says, these graphics are the most nostalgic for me, even more than NES or Game Boy. Alright, Drown. Alright, I'm going to quit this game now. <laughs> so, that was Airlock. Again, probably nothing to write home to write about. This is the box cover, by the way. But I was shocked to hear people calling it like the worst game of all time and stuff like that. Anyway, what shall we play next, guys? I'm going to pick something according to my own whims, unless you guys want to see anything in particular. Um... If you want to see adventure, I be aware, be warned. I kind of suck at that and get lost easily. Um, but I just dumped a bunch of these ROMs into my emulator, and it was kind of pulling up the box art on the fly, and I, it couldn't find a lot of them. But it's a lot of like different variations of the same games and ROM hacks and stuff. I think I have like I saw something like Mario Joust. Is it weird? People like replace the graphics of existing games. Fast Eddie, Fantastic Voyage. I remember having that. Ryan says Tron. Okay, I'll try Tron. Um, let me add it real quick. I don't think I ever played Tron on Atari. Is it like the, uh, light cycle kind of thing? Dragonfire, yeah. That's pretty fun. Let me try Tron, though. Oh, I have Tron Deadly Discs. They made that? For Atari? Huh. I have Tron. I got a lot of Tron games. Why don't I just dump them all? And then we'll sort it out later. Tron Man projects. You know, a lot of these are like homebrew hacks. Here we go, a bunch of Tron shit. <laughs> so I have Tomboy, Treasure Island. Who knows what any of these things are? I have Wolfenstein. <laughs> Should we try Wolfenstein? <laughs> I'm going to love one of these Tron games. I don't know, Man 3. Man. Here's a Tron game. What's going on? Oh, is this just like a, a picture? Someone said, look, I made made Tron Man art. I think that's all it is. Um, Tron Surround Hack. Sure. All right, here we go. Tron time. Oh, Ryan says the one I played with Adventures of Tron. Okay. Well, this is basically like Chaser or Snake or whatever you want to call it. Oh, this is two-player. 
Uh, is there a way to play it with an AI? I mean, I'm pressing different modes, but it doesn't seem like any of them are AI. So I'm gonna quit. What about mode 12 to pick a random one? I'm gonna find an adventure to Tron for you. Let me um close this chat. People always like to chat with me right when they start streaming. All right, so where the heck were we? Sorry, moving windows around. All right, Adventures of Tron. Is that it? Adventure Hell, Adventure Plus. Do 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 do. Adventures of Lolo? No. Um, here we go. Adventures of Tron. Cool. I've never played this. But Ryan says it's good. So it must be. I, You know, how many Atari games use this kind of rainbow, like scrolling rainbow effect? I've seen this so many times. And this is from 1982 by Mattel and Disney. Disney probably just licensed it, basically. Anyway, let's play. I press start and it just changes the colors. What gives? Press the button, maybe? Is this a color animation demo? I press my fire button and nothing happens. I press whatever they call the button that switches game mode and that doesn't do anything. I guess I can just change colors all day. Uh, is there a button I'm missing in my mappings? So you have your basic directions, fire, Console reset. Uh, uh, select. Yeah, there's a lot of switches that I probably don't have mapped to things. That's the only thing. Let me try to figure that out. Um, select. Console reset. Okay. Switches, I can map them to... Um, Random crap. <laughs> Random crap. L diff. And what do these things mean? I'm trying to remember. L diff A, L diff B, L R diff A, R diff B. TV color in black and white. I don't really think we need those switches. I'm going to map these to my shoulders. My controller. I have a kind of a modern style controller. Not an Atari joystick. Yeah, I don't care about TV color and crap. I guess that's all I need, probably. Let's try it. All, right, all the buttons. All right, none of them work. Okay. Well, oh. tried everything I just mapped, and also the fire button. Uh. Well, if I can't figure out how to start it, I guess I'm screwed. I <laughs> The only other thing I could do is the, um, the color TV mode thing. I doubt it would be that. Maybe I'll just map that for the heck of it, though. Color TV in black and white. Well, now we can play the game in black and white, though. Let's try it. Doesn't, that doesn't even work. It's, the emulator might not actually support it. I don't know. All right, so I can't get Tron to work. Sorry. So uh, Ryan also mentioned Dragon Fire, which is a game I had and played on Intellivision. I'll try some of that. This is, this is by iMagic. <coughs> okay, I'm playing. You're just this dude. You're trying to get treasure. This dragon's trying to kill you. Oh, this is, um... This feels slow compared to Intellivision. Intellivision, those fi the fire shots and the, oh, and the dragon's movements as well were really quick. Oh. So, yeah, so... <laughs> There's a high dragon fireball and a low one, and then you get into that little castle and you grab the treasures. Try to grab them all, and then you, the door appears up here and you can exit and repeat. It gets a little harder each time. So that's pretty much the game. And now the dragon's going pretty fast. At one point, the dragon is black, which makes him invisible. Ah! <laughs> Oof, I don't have my uh, timing right here. Yeah, it's a fast dragon. Mm -hmm. So 
So usually... Oh, I'm dead. I'm used to being able to jump straight up over the lower one, but it didn't really um, work for me. <laughs> Let's try again. Ah. Probably just go. But I was waiting anyway. Okay. The hard ones to get are the low ones, obviously. Oh. Hello, treasures. Ryan says, he, Ryan says he doesn't hear people talk about this game much, but it's really good. Yeah, uh, you hear about it more in television, I think. Could just be because... I don't know, I feel like the iMagic games were more well-known in television. I'm not really sure. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it might, it might be iMagic. iMagic, iMagic. Eventually, there's an archer who shoots you from from the tower up there. At least on the intelligent one. I'm assuming he's in this one too. Oh. The bottom one's gonna be the death of me. It literally is the death of me. Wow. Ryan says, Montezuma's Revenge is one I really like on 2600 too, but it's more known on other systems. I'm going to give this one more try. Oh, I did it. I did a straight-up jump and didn't die. Over the lower fire. I kind of like games where you, um... Uh... I mean, obviously, I, I like games where you can, you know, attack the bad guys. I also like games where rare games like this where you can't actually attack your enemies. You have to evade them. A game I played relatively recently on one of these streams in which you do that kind of thing is Realm of Impossibility. You're just running for your life, casting spells to protect yourself, dropping crosses to block the path of the enemy. This has a little bit of that feel to it. Because you're just trying to evade things and not actually kill anybody. <laughs> Get this treasure, run from the dragon. Oh, everything's fast, even me. Wow. You can always duck up in this door. If you need a break to hide, or you're about to die, you can duck into this lower right door. But look, he's not going to the left. He's kind of camping around me, so he's going to be a jerk. Yeah. Is there an archer in this one, Ryan? I feel like I should have found him by now. Oof. The Intellivision one had a neat uh, game over music, too, that I liked. This doesn't seem to have that. Ah. Also, an intro music. It had. They're two different songs. Alright, so that's some Dragonfire by Imagic Eye Magic. This game that we is showing right here, this is called Dragon Stomper. That's one of my favorite supercharger games. Supercharger is a um, an adapter or some kind of peripheral for Atari that lets you uh, play cassette tape games. Also, it adds a whole bunch of RAM to the system. So they're basically it's basically like what a, a CD-ROM peripheral was to your Sega Genesis or a Turbo Graphics, but it was tape and to Atari. It just added more stuff. More, more memory in the game as well as for the system. Eh? Look at this, we got E.T. I don't think I can do that again. I've already done a full playthrough of E.T. on the stream. I don't think we need to revisit that anytime soon. Unless Arturo's in the chat and demands it, because he loves E.T. Fast food. You know what? I'm going to play this fantastic voyage game. I remember thinking this was pretty cool back in the day. Okay, let's play. That's why right. every time you miss, I think you thematically you damage the patient or something. I don't remember what it actually does. Every 
time you hit a wall, actually, not not just miss something. I think. It's been so long since I played it. Yeah, it's based on the movie. I think I'm supposed to be in a human body. I'm supposed to be the white blood cells. I think I leave them alone. I'm making stuff up. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that whole pulse thing at the bottom, it starts to go faster the more, the more the patient is in distress or something like that. I think it's speeding up when I kill these things. Not really sure. Whoa! No flatline when I lose the game. I think it's a key. Kill the key! No, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, maybe a virus or something, or I don't know, <laughs> bacteria, a tumor. Do I kill these guys? I don't remember. They're very slow, though. Whatever they're. That's right, they are invincible. This is a tumor, actually. I think it, I think it literally is a tumor. Like the boss, the boss is a tumor. Yeah, the boss of each level is the great tumor of doom. These are darts. You don't want to get a dart infection. I don't know what they are. I feel like I used to know. Maybe the manual tells you these things. <laughs> Ryan says, video games should have never moved further than this. <laughs> I still get the feeling you, you weren't supposed to kill these things, so that's why I'm not. I'd be totally off base, I don't know. You want an Atari 2600 Hearthstone? Good luck with that one. <laughs> what I'm excited about, the best news I heard today was, um... You guys know I love the, the old... Oh, I remember these guys, they take a few hits. Yeah. You guys know, know I love the game Mule was on the big computers of the day. And some developer announced today that next month they're coming out with Mule Online. Mule Online is based on the original. They used most of the original graphics. They made uh, some enhancements to the game. I'm not entirely sure what. And they made it online. But it's a mixture of, you can play a mixture of couch co-op and network play. And there have been other attempts to modernize Mule, and it's including one I really like called Planet Mule. The problem with Planet Mule is, um, for one thing, it didn't have couch co op only network, let alone, you know, a mixture of them, but, um, it had some weird technical issue where you had to have one specific version of Java installed or it wouldn't work, like an old one. The last time I tried to get it to work, I actually couldn't. Anyway, th this one is out now, or we're going to be out in May. Mule online, so I'm gonna have to try to get everybody to play that. <laughs> Ryan says, "Be right back." Oh. Gonna kill the tumor. Bringing groceries. Says Ryan. Well, I'm saving a patient's life here. I think you're bringing in groceries. Thy key. I don't know if I can hit that. Thing. I, I, I'm really off with the aim, so I, but I'm wondering if I do hit him, does it actually kill it? You can see you go faster when you're closer to the top. But then obviously you have less reaction time for the stuff coming at you. Check the manual for this game real quick. You can 
Google it. Tell me, am I right in my gut feeling that I'm not supposed to hit the walls or that like hurts the patient? I'm trying to like aim carefully because that's what my memory tells me that I'm just I'm not allowed to do that. Could be totally wrong. For those who just joined, this is Fantastic Voyage for 2600. I'm going to be playing a whole bunch of random Atari 2600 games tonight. Uh, every time you get hit, though, it's bad. Um, You can see the heart rate at the bottom starts going faster and crazier. But you don't have the concept of lies, I don't think. It's just once that guy flatlines, the game is over. Uh, I wonder why it suddenly constricts like that. Like going into a certain, I don't know. <laughs> I can only think of what caverns are in the. Am I, am I supposed to be in like the arteries, and I get into like a narrow or one or something, or veins? That could be it. Maybe I'm in the small intestines. Here it's quite a trip through the intestines. Yeehaw! That I keep missing these guys. There we go. Now you, know, you can notice that the uh, the levels have a pattern to them of which enemies you fight, and it kind of adds a little bit to it each time. It's almost like it like just iteratively adds a little bit more until it gets too hard for you to handle. I think. Got your key. Looks like the the key master in the Ghostbusters video game. Fins floor so oh, I tried using the analog stick to give my thumb a break, but it doesn't work. I should have known. Here's the guys that take three hits. They must be bacteria or something, right? I think every time you see the horizontal line blink, it means like something harmful, like letting one of these guys pass through the bottom. to be slick there. I failed horribly. <laughs> Note to self, don't be slick. You're performing microsurgery. Oh no, key's gonna get away. There we go. Oh. I think after I kill these keys, the heart rate actually slows down a tiny bit, if you listen. These guys are invulnerable, I just gotta scoot past them in these tiny constraints, and the Kuma! I can't believe I'm surviving this long, I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll die now that I said that. Probably horribly, even. But... It's literally been since the 80s. I have not played this since. <laughs> I don't think I've played this since the emulation age at all until now. Oof.
many of them. Some chat. I'm assuming it's Brian. No, oh, it's Stu. Stu says, "What game is this one? This is Fantastic Voyage." He was helping his daughter with his homework. This is a game, Fantastic Voyage. I haven't played it since I was a kid, literally, and I'm pretty sure I haven't played it in like the emulation age at all until now. I'm surprised how long I'm lasting. Although I think I'm just about to blow the game right now. Like too, too many of these bacteria or whatever they are get past you. It's bad for the patient. Take three heads. These things are darts. I don't know what they are. I call them darts. I think those blobby ones I'm supposed to leave alive. I call them the white blood cells. I don't remember if that's what they really are. I'm, gonna, I'm calling them that. Oh, shit. It's getting bad. Hey, kill that little dot thing that the first time. Okay, the heart rate's getting really bad. It's getting worse. The key guys slow it down, it seems like. If you kill the keys, there's one. There we go. It's a little slower. Another one. I guess these are some sort of infection, too. Alright, we're almost at the tumor. The boss of every level is a tumor. These little, these little guys block you. And the big fat tumor is the boss. Now I'm up to level 5. Which one is Mr. Ego, says Stu? I don't know. I guess it's a reference to the character in the movie. I don't really know the movie. Again, I, just like the game, I think I've seen it like once, once in like the 80s. I wonder if it's worth revisiting a little bit. This game does have a kind of atmospheric feel to it, in my opinion. Maybe not the rainbow stuff so much, though. It does have a cool amount of color. You can see, like, the enemies even, they conform to these, like... It's almost like there's, like, a, a Vectrex overlay over the game. <laughs> like, certain areas are purple, except that it scrolls down. So whenever an enemy is in a certain range, they change color, I think. Or you can see I change color, see, look at that. It must have been somehow related to the programming technique they used. Like everything in this band is white. Everything in this band is orange. Shit, Every time one of these guys gets patched, it's bad though. Damaging the patient. Unfortunately, that one has to get passed. Again, the keys seem to heal the patient somewhat. Killing the keys. Get over in the corner, they can't get them. This might be the end. Okay, we gotta, gotta keep going, keep going. Where's the key? Oh! Gonna flatline any second now. Okay, gotta not rush it. Key, give me a key, give me a key. Oh, I just got the key as he died. Did you see that? Ah, oh, so the patient died, but I got the key at split second after he died. I probably would have been screwed anyway, but <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm shocked I lasted that long though. Wow. And a lot of it just kind of, like, you know, came back to me. I was like, oh, yeah, I think this is the white blood cell. You're not supposed to hit him. But it could be something I made up when I was, like, seven. But, you know, we actually used to read instructions back then, though. So maybe it is a real thing. Okay, that was Fantastic Voyage. That was pretty fantastic. And in usual Atari fashion, they're trying to uh, impress you with these kind of flashing colors for some reason. That means game over.
Well, that was fun. Um, what else shall we try? Though? Gorf? How about Freeway? I just passed that. Let's play a little Freeway. I don't know what Freeway Randomizer is. Probably one of the zillions of hacks I have. This is a freeway. This is, you know, why did the chicken cross the road? It's a two-player game, but you can play it one player, too. Um, and that, yeah, you have these two chickens who are just trying to get across the road, and every time you do it, you get a point. All you do is move up and down, and you can stop when you need to. If a car hits you, it knocks you down a little bit, and you get stunned for like a half second or something. But it's fun when you have two players and you're trying to out outscore the other. Weird to me, in the world of Atari, it seemed like the same games ha often had multiple publishers. This one was, I think, CCE. I guess that's the publisher that you see at the bottom. But I think I had a... Maybe that's the, the hacker's name or something, if it is a hack. But I think this is originally Activision, actually. One player, two, do something. So I just hit the car right there. You can see it just go beep, beep, beep. And they get knocked back a little bit. How many lanes of traffic? One, two, three, four, five. Five on each side. Wow. Which makes you have to figure it's not really a rush hour, right? Not really that many cars, but they're taking their sweet time. I think a chicken can outrun some of these cars. Look at the, look, some of the cars at the, like the bottom and the top right now. They're, they're going slower than a chicken can walk, so. They must be, you know, grandma's driving to church. So it must be Sunday in this game, I've deduced. Uh, years ago, I got this Activision pack for iPhone. It was like just Atari 2600 games by Activision. And that's when I last played this, I think. What annoys me is that that pack became um, no longer valid, like app was no longer up to date and when you try to run it you just get one of those the developer needs to update this kind of message but they had a lot of fun ones in that keystone cops what else did activision do pitfall of course actually i played through pitfall 2 for the first time on, a, on the iphone app i had pitfall 2 as a kid for atari 8 bit but i never finished it then i finished it on the app okay i got 30 that's pretty much what you do in this game um there's different modes i guess hey look at that this looks dangerous. Let's try this dangerous one. Yeah, this is more like it. We got some fast cars. We got a truck. It's gonna be dangerous. They changed their speeds. If you think there's some Frogger resemblance here, I think you'd be right. Except that it, despite it being very similar, it, it's also very different. And it kind of goes a lot faster in this game, and you're just trying to get across as many times as possible. There's less. I don't know. You don't die really. You just get slowed down a little when you get hit. You can't really walk laterally or jump laterally in this. And yeah, mostly it's just can to get across and beating the other player. But, but the other chicken is—he's a lot smarter than me. He's just sitting there. I'm not crossing that. I'm gonna wait till the traffic dies down. He says. Maybe he's just chicken. <laughs> Still a, lot, still a lot of these cars are going slower than a chicken. Bing. Uh, ah, I got hit by several cars. Certainly not going to get 30. Hopefully I can get at least 15, though, before the time runs down. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, all the way back to start. That's embarrassing. Alright, I'm at 13. I ran into that one. Let's go. My goal is 15. 
Yes, I got 15 just as the time is running out. Can I get 16? Probably not. Especially if I do that. Especially not if I do that. Okay, 15 it is. So that was uh, twice as hard as the last level, I guess you could say. What is Freddy versus Michael? And Fred Quimby something. How about a little Berserk? Berserk is actually quite good on Atari, if I recall correctly. Barnstorming is fun. Um, where is Berserk? I must have. Here we go. Which one? Let me uh, take a look which one this is. This is the basic one. Okay. This also says CCE, though. I wonder what that's about. Who is CCE? I have a lot of... I have a voice-enhanced Berserk. Okay, let's play a little berserk. Alright. Wow, that was cheap. That doesn't normally happen in this game. Let's start and top I might have played more varieties varieties of Berserk on my streams than any other game. I've played the Vectrex version, multiple variations on Vectrex actually. I've played the arcade version, um, this one, any others? I don't know. Maybe that's it actually. Chicken, fight like a robot. The way the guy runs, yeah, I feel like he uses, <laughs> he moves his legs way too much for the speed he's running at. I don't think that's the case in the arcade version. Yeah, I remember being very young and doing well in this game and getting really nervous. Tell you how, to explain how young I was, I had to ask my older sister. I was like, "What's happening when I play this game? I feel like I feel like my heart is going very fast. When I was doing very well in, in Berserk, I felt like my heart was going." Fast. She said, "Oh, that's because you're nervous. Are you excited?" I was like, "Oh, wow! I guess the game can make you like that." I must have been like four, five. Oh no, Arturo's here. He says Artur <laughs> Atari equals ET. I think I'm dead. Atari e well, if you really want the ET, I can. But I did. I did a full playthrough of it. Oh. Now thinking about ET and also being nervous and stressed, is totally bl blowing my game. I'm, I'm blaming Arturo. He did it with all this talk of ET. <laughs> all right, that's what our rhetoric looks like. I don't really feel like replaying, even though I totally flubbed it at the end there. If you want to see, oh, dare I do it? What do you think it's doing, Ryan? Dare I do it? Am I going to get banned from YouTube if I do it, though? <laughs> it's so, like, um, vague and, you know, basic and pixely that it almost doesn't look bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is a game for adults only. If you are not an adult, um, and if it, you should not watch, if you are an adult and you're not very immature, you should not watch. All right, here we go. This is called Beat 'em and Eat 'em. <laughs> here we go. I am this guy. At <laughs> Why? Why did they make this? Why am I playing this? All right. Here we go. I'm not playing it. Okay. This is by Mystique. It is. One of the infamously terrible adult games. And I don't know, I just can't get it to start actually though. Let's keep showing the demo. Oh, am I am I the girl at the bottom? No. I'm not sure what's happening. I think it might be a paddle game and it's not working. Yeah, I'm moving the girl at the bottom. I'm supposed to eat his yellow dots that come out of his um yeah. I mean, it looks like he's got a cannon coming out of his chest. I'm not really sure what that is. 
and it shoots yellow rain. So I guess he's peeing out of his chest cannon. Alright, I think you get the idea. This is ridiculous. It's not even a fun game. This is my first time trying it, though. I've seen it a lot, because it's kind of notorious for being so ridiculously... Whatever this is. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. <laughs> Beat him and eat him. This is a game that's the butt of many jokes. For obvious reasons. Uh, what's the other game I wanted to play? Barnstorming that I passed by. I remember having a lot of fun with this one. So here we go, barnstorming. You gotta go through here, right? And avoid these towers. Use the button to speed up, yeah. Use the button to speed up. You bump into the birds. They survive though, don't worry. Arturo and everybody else, I hope you didn't have to like call your kids into another room. Tell them to go away. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it just occurred to me. Oh, that's what happens when you crash. You just bounce back. Or, you know, they probably couldn't even tell what the heck was going on. But... Alright, I finished that level of barnstorming. And are we going again? What's happening? I'll pick level two. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like start over and do that. But I just did, so. It says 15 at the top. Now I guess it's how many barns I gotta go through. Yeah, now it says 14, 13. It counts down each time. Four left. Three. Two. One and done. I guess your score is essentially your time, and I think each time you crash, it adds to your time. Okay. I could have sworn, like, you kept, like, getting, I don't know, I guess it is Atari, but somehow in my memory you were going on, you know, going to progressively harder levels, but I think it just ends and you can choose to play again or the same level or just, hit, you know, hit the option button, whatever it's called, to go to the next higher. So now I'm at 3, which is also 15, but I guess it must add more elements to make it harder. Maybe there's more stuff to dodge. Or it could be some combination of difficulty level and number of barns to go through. I went a bit high to avoid a bird. I was like, let me try that. But then I couldn't get down fast enough to go into the barn. Oh, keep going a little bit too low. Smashing into the towers. All right. Yeah, I feel like I, I remember there being more to this game somehow. I remember this, I feel this game feeling advanced to me. I guess that's the nostalgia clouding your memory. Usually, I'm pretty good at that, like not letting nostalgia cloud my thoughts. But in this game, I, for some reason, I feel like it was, it was more advanced. Anyway, I'm at 25 now. I have to do 25 marks. And again, there's no real winning or losing. I don't think it's just try to beat your previous times. I suppose. Or your friends' times. Basically, it comes down to not crashing. You can adjust your speed too. I'm usually hold I'm just holding down the fire button the whole time. I I feel like rarely do I 
feel a need to slow down. So what's another favorite of you of yours, Ryan, or Stu, or anybody? For Atari. I could try that out. I might try some Dragon Stomper actually. It's almost like a um it's like an RPG that was for a supercharger, which again is a peripheral that lets you play these special cassette games. I wanna actually try to get my supercharger running live sometime. I actually have it. Uh, what you do is you plug it into any cassette player basically. Oops. And you plug the supercharger into the Atari's cassette port. Oh, what did I do that for? Adventure says so I'll just, just say that's like the one game I don't know if I want to play. For some reason I'm not feeling adventure. Alright, that is some barnstorming. Oh, no, that game too. No, I'd rather play Adventure than E.T. right now. Sorry, it's two games I won't play. You know, I can play Adventure. Let's play Adventure a little bit. I just don't remember what I'm doing much when I play it <laughs> lately. I played it once on a stream, actually, recently. Recently meaning since I've been streaming. During the last couple of years. I can play a little adventure. Alright, so you can choose different levels. Uh, is there only one, two, or three? I thought there were a lot more. I guess there's only one, two, or three. Here's one. And that's the key. All The only purpose for the, the key is to get in the Matching colored castle, I think. Uh, I have the sword now. Um, don't remember where I go anymore. He walked into my sword and died. That's how dumb he is. I dropped the sword on the ground. He walked into it and died. Uh, I guess I want to take the key, but I want to get this sword in some obvious place, I guess. Cause I'm probably going to need it. Uh-oh. Yeah, so you need it sometimes. You, you have the you like you run around with a key, and then the dragon jumps in your face, and you need a sword again. Come on, dragon, let's fight. Looks like a duck, really. People have been joking about the dragons looking like ducks forever. Oh god, I hate the, <laughs> I hate the maze stuff. All right, uh, I don't remember where I'm going. Okay, we gotta find a black castle now. I think there's also that bridge thingy. Do, 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 do. Bridge thingy. Here we go. This is a magnet, right? Yeah, every... Or some things go to the magnet. Here's the chalice that you win the game with. Do I have to bring it back home or something like that? Where I started? Yeah, so level one is very easy, you can see. Look at one. All right, that's adventure. Yeah, this is um, a game that a lot of people really thought was mind-blowingly cool. Somehow, I actually thought it was pretty cool. But uh, as long as I'm sitting here, I'm going to. Uh, Crop this <coughs> screen a bit. If I can find where to do that. Get rid of the excess crap at the side. <laughs> Looks like we're down to merely two viewers. It got boring, I guess. Adventure board, everybody. I feel like we're depending on the game, it uses different dimensions somehow. I'm not sure why that makes sense, but. I refuse to play. Are you really want to see ET or I'll play ET. Let me try level two of this. Level one is way too easy. And um, I do remember getting frustrated, getting lost in the friggin' maze and stuff sometimes, but that's okay. Let's try level two. All right. Oh, the bat comes now, right? Yeah, the bat has a sword right now. I think I can grab the sword. No, you can kind of touch it, make contact with it, but you don't take it away. Oh, you can grab the bat, that's right. So I can actually stab a dragon with the bat who's holding the sword? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what I hate. 
I don't like stuff like this. In my old age, I'm too dumb to handle it. Uh, wait, now the bat's holding the key? Okay. Let's go back to the yellow castle. Uh, how do I do this? If I let go, the bat's gonna fly away, yeah. Shit. Oh, he keeps coming. Okay, I can probably catch him in the right angle. And do this. No. Arr. How do I separate him from the key? Is there a way to do that? I wanted to, like, grab him from the bottom, not from the top. Still not doing it right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm in. Oh, it's not in here. It's not in here. What's the point of that? Ah. I'm in the bat. The bat cave. No, I'm in the maze. I have the bat and the yellow key. I guess the yellow key doesn't do anything in this game. Because there's nothing in the yellow castle. I guess I'll get the white key. I don't want the bat to be involved, though. I just want to get the freaking key. Oh, he got it, whether I liked it or not. Shit. Damn you, stupid bat. Guess that's how the bat works. How do I find the bat again? He just fled. He's not like recycling, you know, cycling on the screen like he did before. Oh, there he is. He got the yellow key then. I want the white, right? But this is a black castle up here, right? So I need to find a white castle. Get some hamburgers. Hamburgers. This one was a dead end, right? Yeah. Thank you for the likes. I have three likes. Woohoo! If Ryan is here, he'll tell me I have four likes, actually, because that's how it works when Ryan sees it. But Ryan's still bringing in groceries. Maybe he got sucked into the real-life duties. I hate this maze. I need a map. I should just pull up an adventure map. There are four likes, this dude. Yep, so he, he's filling in for Ryan to tell me that. It's weird, it always tells me one less than what the people see, I guess. Oh. Alright, I don't want to do maze, it just hurts my head. So, I'm, I'm done with the adventure. I'll play a little E.T. if you want, Arturo. Arturo is insisting on E.T. Escape from the Mind Master. Wanna play Evil Dead 2? <laughs> no, this is a te Texas Chainsaw. They changed, like, the graphics or something. Alright, I don't wanna play this. Sorry. I already played this on a Halloween stream. Arthur is only trolling, he doesn't wanna actually see ET. You liar. Frankenstein's monster is pretty fun. This is not a game I played back in the day, only... I think it was on that Halloween stream, actually. Okay, what do I do again? I'm this little dude. I jump and stuff. I think I just, I just got killed by a ghost. No, oh, I went down the ladder. Or the rope or whatever. What am I doing here? I guess I'm supposed to go down, but... It's kind of pitfall-like. This is also data age, okay. Stu says I believe this is also data age. Woohoo! Red dot, you're mine. Now what? Can I go back up? The feel of the character jumping around and running is pretty good, actually. Oh, the ghost! Now there's a bunch of birds. Or bats. Just dodging the bats. Oh, I'm going up. I didn't realize that. Wait. I don't know if I'm going up or not. I can go up, but it doesn't seem to progress me if I do. What am I doing? Have to get the the big bat or something. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. The button doesn't do anything, by the way. Um, am I 
supposed to just not get hit for 30 seconds or something like that? Go between his legs and worship his might, says to. Okay. I thought you had an actual tip for a moment, but I'll try that anyway. <laughs> A lot of bats are coming out from between his legs. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> oh. Okay. I got owned by that ghost. Is this going to take me to the birds again? What's I can't jump anymore because that ghost. The ghost didn't touch me. I guess I have to get the, no, the red dot again? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Now I have one viewer, it says. That was a shortcut. I guess I beat the level by racing past the bats and touching Frankenstein's monster. Once again, I get lied to. I think maybe all the numbers are, are just adjusted by one for me. It says one concurrent viewer, three likes. And yet there's two people, at least, and four likes. Alright, we're gonna touch Frankenstein in his bathing suit area. I think, I think he's just wearing green pants. Those are his Hulk pants. No, actually, Hulk wore purple pants. Get you. Oh, wait. What do I have to touch? I don't know. So, could be the, the brown lines next to him? Yes. Get out of here, spider. Do I actually die in this game, or is it just Frankenstein green just filled up and then the game's over? I think that's what it is. He turns all green and then it's game over. But what are you trying to do in the meantime? Like, how do you stop it from happening? Oh. Well, that might be like. Hey, look, actually, I lost a life up there, up top. Two now, I think. How can one be concurrent? I don't know. That that platform comes all the way to the left of this lake thing. But not all the way to the right. It seems. Hmm. Oh no, I screwed that up. Right, I don't want to play this. Frankenstein monster. Fu Kung. I'm gonna play Fu Kung. Uh, okay. Maybe not. Let's see, I had a list of some good games over here somebody recommended. How about... Mm -mm -mm. Where is that list? Lost the list. Here we go. Jawbreaker, Solar Fox. Uh, I could try some Yards Revenge. How about Fishing Derby? Fishing Derby is one of the first games I can literally remember playing ever. So I feel like I gotta play some fishing derby. And let's try this one. Ah, fishing derby. This is a, again a two player game that where you're kind of in a race with somebody else to score points, but you can also just play it one player and there's nothing stopping you from doing that. The shark eats your fish. Yeah, you get more points for fishing from the bottom. That's, right, that's actually I'm actually against an AI. I forgot about that. There is an AI. You press the button to reel it in faster. You have to time it such that the shark doesn't take your fishies. Right now, I'm gonna reel it in fast. Here, fishy, fishy. No fair though, he gets that low one. It always goes near him. I'm gonna see if I can. I can't go more to the right than this though. He's gonna get it before I can. Yeah. Think of the. You can get one in the middle and you can keep getting them pretty fast though. 
Ah, oh, just lost that one. Okay, let's get this low one. Go, go, go. Up, up, up. Come on, come on. Up, up, up. Oh, freaking shark. Shark with freaking laser beams. They should add that. Laser beams to the shark. Get out of here, Sharky. Go, 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 go. Can I get this low one? Yeah. Ah, oh, missed it. Bastard. Not fair that he gets the low one. I guess I get the high one. Get out of here, Sharky. Get out, get out, get out. Go, 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 go. Okay. Go, 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 go. I have a tiny lead. I won! Oh, it might be the first to 99 wins. Okay, see you later, Fish and Derby. Oh, flag capture. This might be two player only, actually. Let's try it. Yeah, I remember this. How do you play it? Okay, yeah, you press the button and it tells you which direction you have to go. Now it says three. I think that means the flag is three away. Yeah, I got the flag. But yeah, you're in the race with the other player, which if you don't have another player, it's kind of silly. Five away. Two, three, four, five. Is it just a guess? Oh, there we go. Six away. Yeah, left. There's a bomb. Somebody set up us the bomb. Four. Down to the right. Yay! Right. And I think there's no limit to the number of times you press the button to get a clue. You're just kind of trying to do it before the other player find that. Oh, it took me right to a bomb, that flying thing. Flying clues. Bomb. Okay, it's, it's a, too useful. This is not one of the games that's good to play by yourself, even though it's two-player only. Let's, let's play Flash Gordon. Yeah, this looks like my kind of game. <laughs> I never played this one, actually. It's like a map at the bottom. Interesting. What are these, like, weird zigzaggy star patterns? Who's this guy? Flash. Ah. Oh, Flash is dead. Now I have garbage on my ship. What's going on? Where are those winged dudes? Where's Queen? Ah. I guess it's dead. It's yeah, game over. So, how do you actually look at this map at the bottom? I don't understand. I guess I'm that little disc one, the flat one. Yeah, you can see how I'm moving. Do I go down, actually? Whoa, you can go down. What are these? They're zeros. Just like in the movie. What's weird is, you are kind of following this tunnel-like tunnel map, but you don't actually see the walls. Top part of the screen with the action is. Hey, what's that? Take that zeros. Some goal I'm supposed to be 
trying to achieve here. Besides shooting everything. What about the plus sign? I think like it's something important. Okay, I killed the plus sign. Now what? Okay, I'm dead. Flash Gordon is dead. Bang the merciless ghost. Ha 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 ha! Alright, that was fun. No, not really. Um, I like lag seed. That could be fun to try. Gas hog, don't know what that is. Ghostbusters, I don't think the 2600 version is going to be the best version of that. Gremlins I used to like. Let's try Gremlins. <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm going to have nostalgia goggles on this one. But let's try it. All right. Yeah, th at the first st stage, you're catching Mogwai falling off the roof for some reason. They try to eat hamburgers. There's a bunch of hamburgers at the bottom. And I paid for them. And, um... They try to eat the hamburgers after midnight to turn into gremlin. Oh, one of them is a gremlin egg now, okay. Now, I think this determines in the, in the next stage how many gremlins you have to fight. So, so far, only one. Okay, only one. And the rest are hamburgers. Alright. No, there's a lot more than just one. I don't know. I guess it's just a score thing. I must have remembered that wrong. So all the hamburgers turn into the eggs. Okay. Level 5 somehow. My hamburgers. Okay, I got three hamburgers at least. What was that flashing? They freeze when it flashes. It seems like it's a good thing for me, actually. Stu says I hate this game. <laughs> Fair enough. Level seven. Why are the levels going up so quickly? It really just hit five and then seven. Maybe I started at three, and then each screen is a level? Like, from the Mogwai catching to the Gremlin shooting? Ugh, oh, I guess I'm dead. I think I just lost. If that's how it works. Um, that just means no bonus, I guess. This is probably where you can live or die. Oh. And the Gremlin just bumped me off. Just knocked me out of the scene. It's hard with the D-pad, I don't know why. That's just my excuse for everything. Was oh, there a scene in Gremlins where any of the characters had to catch a bunch of Mogwai and jumping off the roof? Oh, well, this is not the greatest game, to be fair. Though, yeah, again, this is a, a game I remember liking, but now I'm like, eh. But, you know, it, it all goes back to simpler times. <laughs> and being excited to play a game based on a movie, there wasn't a lot of that at the time. Until E.T. really blew it open by being such a fantastic licensed <laughs> movie license game. <laughs> Come on, Yay! Go home, Maguire you're drunk. You know, I could try putting the hamburgers away somewhere. Like, lock them up in a safe. The refrigerator, at least. Ugh. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
<laughs> Alright, I'm done. I have one more life. Alright, fine. I think I'd rather play E.T. than this, actually. Line up right. Ugh. <laughs> Screw this game. <laughs> ah, my thumb freaking hurts now. Alright, that was Gremlins. I don't like it anymore. Hack em. Halloween, no thanks. Haunted house, eh. Human cannonball. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of drawn to the ones that I actually have images for, although that's not even close to all of them. Oh, should we play I Want My Mommy? That sounds like a disturbing game. It's either like really cute or disturbing. I'm not sure which to expect. Let's try it. What's going on here? <clears throat> There's a giant apple at the top. I have to jump up there, climb up there, and avoid these fairies? What are they? When I press the button, I just do this dance. Watch. It's not like a jump. It's not a jump. It's not a shoot. It's just stand and do a dance. Oh, I have to press it on those dots. And it makes it like a beam shoot up. Basically making a ladder. Alright, this one's gonna give me trouble unless I can get to the dot faster. Alright. Did, did I die? Did I make it? What's happening? What's happening? I was stuck on it. I'm supposed to go to the apple at the top? What am I supposed to do? I'm sure these things kill me, right? I have to make all the beams for, before to let me go to the top. I want my mommy. Go under. If you have to get all the beams, that kind of just made a you know crappy, but I could see how I had I could have fun with it in 1983 kind of game to just really terrible. Like, what is that bouncy that thing that's going up? And I assume that kills you too. That large rectangle. So let's try to get all the beams. Oh, the thing killed me. No, it didn't kill me. It just went boop, 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 and turned me white for a second. Maybe I have to get that and then go to the apple. Anyway, now I made all the beams. So if it doesn't let me go to the apple now, then I won't know if it was that rectangle or the fact that I made all the beams. Another rectangle, though. Another rectangle has appeared. Can I go? Yeah. Who's that at the top? Some alien? What is going on here? These people's he heads are clapping. They're like splitting in half. Is this like a horror game? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, it made me go back to level one. That's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna experiment. See if it's just I need to get the um, rectangle. Come here, rectangle. Ah, oh, get back here, you damn rectangle. All right, it's gonna go down now or what? Yeah, it is. Okay, rectangle, come at me. Oh, it went under me. Wait, 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 get back here, you fucker! Ah! I guess it's gonna start up high now. The right thing. Where are you? Yes, I can't do it yet, because I didn't do whatever I have to do. Either the beams or the rectangle. Where is the rectangle for me to grab? What's with my. Do we have, like, giant shoes or what's going on? Like, by bell bottoms or... Oh, did I miss it again? No, don't get back here, you bastard! I'm gonna go down to the next level. I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Hit me, bro. Alright, I got it. Now I think I can get it. Get the apple. Let's see. Go, 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 go. No, I think I do have to get every freaking beam. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, 
Why am I playing this? I want my mommy. Can I fall down here? How will I die? Can't. It won't let me. Stu should be saying he hates this game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Over to the apple and... Alright, now I have to deal with this weird orange and yellow alien. I think it might be a Teletubby. Game isn't as bad as Gremlins. I don't know, it's pretty bad. Gremlins, Gremlins is, I feel like maybe with a regular joystick, Gremlins would be a little better. I was just trying to like precisely line up with the, the Gremlins I was shooting with the D-pad and I just hated it. And then I don't like how I die and I go back to level one here, so I'm just gonna quit. That's really annoying. But I that was I want my mommy. And it shows a, t a sad teddy bear. That's very sad. You see, here's the t the title. The boxer, the boxer. Play manja. What is manja? Italian for eat. For eat. Manja. It's a game, really. Okay, I'll play manja. What the hell's happening here? <laughs> Playing now? Okay, yeah, give me food, Mom. Mom, I'm making me the spaghetti. All right, I can move my, my arms. I can flip food out the window. Okay. The cat eats it, I think. Is that all I can do? Flip it? Can I put it in my mouth? There we go. Manja. What is this? This is crazy. This is cool. <laughs> this is a stupid kind of way. You can throw the food at the dog at the bottom. You can eat it. You can throw it out the window for the cat. Maybe they're all cats, I don't know. Oh. oh, I've got a yellow shirt now. Can't eat that much. I'm gonna explode. I have to throw it to the cat and the dog so I don't explode. Okay. Here you go, dog. Hey, hey Ryan, you're back. This is Manja. It was Stu's suggestion. It's a game where you're... Your mom keeps, I assume it's your mom, keeps giving you piles of food to eat. And I think you're Italian, by the way. If you eat too much, you explode, apparently, so you have to give food to your pets. How much can I eat, though? What's my limit? I can't really tell. And you get points when you give it to one of the animals, but I guess if you just throw it away, you get no points. But you can still do that, you can just throw it away like this. Here, doggy. Here, doggy, doggy. Here, kitty. I'm turning red now. I'm getting fat. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna look like Mr. Creosote. Look at that. You can go fast like this. Uh oh, what happened? The table broke. Why did the table break? There was too much food on it. But I got I got rid of a lot of the food. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely different. I don't think I would play this a lot, but... Yeah, but yeah, but I thought I had... I was in the middle of, like, just flinging tons of food off. I thought I'd really... cleared the table. I don't know. Who wants some? I'll eat it. Here you go. Archer said the game's too suggested, which does not mean he doesn't hate. Also hate it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that is Manja. Weirdo game. I'm supposed to only eat when I when I um. Seriously, I'm supposed to only eat when I. You know, I will give it another try. You only you're only supposed to eat it if you can't get rid of it another way. Here we go, let's start. Hey, Drunky Kong, how's it going? Drunky Kong says 2600, nice. Yeah, baby, 2600. Okay, let's throw this food at the dog. I wish it didn't constantly make that sound, it's really annoying. Okay, I'm holding the food. Give it to the cat at the window. Holding food again. 
Who wants it? Who wants it? Here you go, doggo. Kitty. Get your answer to the phone that's ringing. Are you serious? I don't even know if you're serious or not. Move the joystick down and then right when pressing the button to answer the phone? What? Where's the phone? I don't even see a phone, but I'll try it. Down and then right while pressing... Down and... Oh, he's bullshitting me. Ah, great. But that sound is really annoying, though. It's... What does it signify? It's just, it's just trying to annoy you the whole game? On the wall is a, pa is a, is a painting or a photo of my, my Papa Luigi or something like that. Mario! Oh. I don't understand the table weight thing, because it'll have like six items of food on it, and then I get rid of three, and then it breaks. So I'm not really sure I understand that. You would think it would have broken when it had six if it was gonna. My cat is sometimes green, black, same thing with the dog. White. Take that green cat. Okay. Oh, table broke. <laughs> it's definitely a different game. Uh, is this from back in the day? This is not like a homebrew, is it? What a weirdo game. I like weirdo games, so that's cool. Take that, black cat. I guess I don't like my mama's food. I'm just throwing it to the pets. And I only eat when I absolutely have to. She just makes too much of it, I guess. Maybe about, maybe about like Olive Garden. These are the un unlimited breadsticks. I mean, this is not pasta we're seeing, right? Yeah, there could be different cats. Right? Am I playing or what? No, oh, I'm at the demo screen, I guess. Alright, here we go. One more try. Suddenly I have seven viewers. Everybody wants to see Manja. Good call, Stu. This is the game to play. The hot ticket. Hidden gem of Atari 2600. Manja. Green cat. Green dog, whatever it is. You do get points when you eat, just, I guess there's a limit. You, you get fat and explode. I'm gonna eat more. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Symbols on the bottom mean something, says to Yeah, I guess they would, but I just don't understand it. 35 must be. It's not my points, my points are at the top. Seems to be related to when I throw some food. The points, or the number at the bottom seems to adjust. I guess those are two separate digits, probably. Burp. Oh well. Alright, that's some manja. <laughs> Do 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 do
Yeah, I guess each time I miss, some, miss something on the floor, one of those numbers probably goes up. It might have to do with breaking the table, too, perhaps. I also have a Manja hack, apparently. S-E. I don't know. Maybe they turn off that annoying sound. Let's try it. Oh, it just kind of freezes the whole time. Oh, there we go. Nope, they did not take out... If you're going to hack this game, take out the annoying sound. That has no, no notable purpose. All right, what else should we play, guys? I'm up for anything but something I have already played. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to play E.T. Um, Mind of Minus, what is that? Minor 2049er. Sometimes I'm impressed. Like I'll, I'll know a game from Atari 8-bit, like Mar Minor 2049er, and it turns out it's on Atari 2600, too. And I'm like, huh. I, like I, I have to imagine the game I knew, but scaled down a little bit. Turmoil, sure, I'll play some Turmoil. I had that for eight, Atari 8-bit as well, meaning the computers. I used to like this stupid word game called Word Zapper. Anyway, let's play some Turmoil. I just tested this game. It was like the game I first tested just to make sure this thing is working. All you do in this game is basically go up and down shooting things. And it's a lot louder than the other games for some reason. Try to get those glowing orb thingies. These enemies are constructed such that your shot goes straight through them without harming them. And they, uh, you don't know how to aim any differently, so you're screwed. You just don't want to be trapped in one of these tunnels when those guys are coming. You can't shoot them. So. I killed that as I was getting the circle thingy. Thanks for the suggestion, Junkie Kong. Seems like the enemies. Oh, they shoot themselves at you if you take too long, I guess. And you die. You gotta get them fast. I guess if you can't get in the tunnel within like a second or two, you should just skip it. I probably don't want to get that one. Ryan said they have this in my garage too. It looks cool. Did you play this game? It sounds, like you, it sounds like you've had it in your garage, but you haven't played it the way you're talking. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And again, I remember having this on Atari 8-bit. Um, yeah, not a bad little arcade kind of game. Very fast. Fast-paced. Um, I mean, you are kind of just mostly sliding up and down while holding the fire button, to be fair. But there's some room for... Skill, I think. Ryan says, I don't have it set up to hook up my Atari to my new TV. Oh, the invisible level. That's right, it's hard now because there's no invisible walls. It's not really that much different, though. In there. Skipping 
that one. You can see though it bounces around dangerously. Oh shit. So not only do you get a lot of points from those circling guys, if you don't get them, they bounce around very nastily. Alright, Ryan. Check you later. Thanks for hanging out a little bit. Enjoy your, uh, dinner or whatever you're doing. Oh, shit. Ugh. One thing is, you kind of move a little too fast almost. When you try to just go up one level, you can easily hit two. It's gonna really just tap. I'll blame the D-pad again. But I have a feeling I'm not gonna last too much longer in this one. Oof. That was a risk. Do the tanks take a lot of hits or you have to hit them from behind? I'm starting to think if you hit them from behind. I usually shoot them a bunch and then when they get past, I shoot them in the rear. And they die, so I think it's just useful to shoot him in the rear. This wasn't an arcade game, was it? I don't think I've heard of this in the arcade. Yeah, the tank. Just shoot in the back. Long live Atari, said Ryan, by the way. <laughs> ah, getting reckless. Ah, oh, that's my game. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty neat little game, Turmoil. But how about some word zapper? Here's a blast from the past for me. Um. It's kind of stupid, you're spelling words. I remember thinking it was cool, but again, I was probably about five years old. Maybe it was, act maybe it was actually helping me learn to spell, I don't know. What do I do? I was supposed to spell land. What do I do? I shoot the letters? I really don't remember. I can spell land. I'm trying to shoot these bad guys, though. Maybe I should just avoid them. There more than land I have to spell? Lando? Is there any penalty for shooting letters you don't need? I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, actually. Oh, you can shoot from the, si to the side, that's right. But oh, I, I thought I said I was supposed to spell land, though, and now, now what do I do? I have to hit a, oh, I have to hit a button to end it, I think. Wasn't there a... There was no special character I could... Maybe I just kill all the enemies now? I don't know. Oh, that was, that was a special thing. Before A. That probably terminates the spelling. Yeah! I'm gonna make this a little lower, because it's really blasting in my ears. Alien. Okay, spell alien. I missed the A right off the bat. Oh, look at that. My timer is low from before. It didn't, re didn't replenish it, I don't think. A. L. This is no no harm in missing. Actually, you might be able to shoot them in any order. Even. No, I just tried the N. It didn't work. So I have to get E next. And then N. The Terminator thing. All right, alien. So now what? Are I only six seconds. The next level. Scroll. Yep. No way I'm gonna spell it in six seconds. Oh well, I lost. Ace. Was that my my ranking? Because I don't think I did that well. <laughs> Let's try a hard level. Can I do that? Game one, two, three. Four. Wow, how many games are there? Oh my goodness. 
a 20 something. You would need the manual to tell you what each one does. Let's try game 12 randomly. Last. I kind of like that about Atari when there were so many like game modes. And they're just like, each, you know, tons of variations. I missed the T. It's going by pretty fast. Look at this. So now I need the Terminator thing. Where is it? I have to kill enemies to make it happen? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, here we go. Let's shoot it. There we go. Last. What's next? Space. Okay. Space pants. Oh, I missed it again. I can't spell space. Ah, these enemies are giving, giving me trouble. Alright, now we can spell the damn word. Finish it off. Ah, they knock you around. Look at these jerks. Yes, 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 yes. Random. Well, that's a random word. R A N D O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O O Did I win? I think I won. Woo! I'm a spelling god. Zappa. Okay. Am I still playing? What's happening? I guess so. Obviously not a great game here, but I remember thinking it was cool. There's some challenge to it. Obviously the spelling itself is not really a challenge. I don't think you actually learn spelling from this game. Unless it gives you words you've never spelled before. Alright, that's enough of that. But that's Word Zapper. I'm gonna see what the heck this is about. I have some, like, Wolfenstein hacks or something. Oh, this is, this is a hack for Venture. They turned it into Wolfenstein, I guess. Let's try it. His guns walking around. Are oh, these Nazis that I have to shoot? <laughs> they turn into uh, graves when I shoot them. They immediately get buried. Okay. Okay, for some reason I thought those walls just pushed you and didn't kill you. But I was wrong. Yeah, it's kind of dumb as a hack, but Adventure is a good game. I might as well just play real Adventure. So I'm going to do that. If I have it, here we go. Venture. Yeah, the real Venture. I don't think I had this for Atari, but I had it for um, ColecoVision. It needs twin stick action, so I can move one direction and shoot the other. <laughs> okay, we got the... Tiara, whatever that thing was. Let's go to the next one and not touch the wall this time. We got the diamond, woohoo! Okay, two two rooms done. Let's get the next one. Snakes. Oh, oh that's, right. that's right. You can you can touch their corpses and, and get killed. Stupid. <laughs> Skeletons. Oh, it's a hall monster. 
Oh no, they're too fast. Get the hell away. No. Oh. I made it if I didn't walk into the wall like a dumbass. Try to creep past. Gums. Okay, one more room, and we beat the level. Get a nice apple or something here. Okay, I think that's it. Gotta walk around the corpse. Yay, level complete. It won't it won't actually say that, so I'm saying it. Level complete, yay. It's too advanced for Atari to tell you things like game over. It just like makes the screen colored or something like that. Or level complete. The outside of that diamond shaped one at the bottom looks way bigger than the inside. It's like a TARDIS or something. Get out of the way, let's go, 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 go. Go, 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 I guess. Right, let's go with the nose. I, I call it the nose because this level looks like a face. These are sp sphinx like creatures. Griffins, whatever they are. Griffin doors. Gotta get the crown. It's starting to take a little long. The hall monster is gonna come. The funny thing is, the hall monster is like the evil Otto of the levels, but my character actually looks like evil Otto. Referring to Berserk, of course. Two headed trolls or something. Oh. Am I dead? I think I lost a lot, a lot of lives in the first level. I think that's it. Game over. I'll try again. Long live Atari, says Ryan. I wonder how many games there are for Atari 2600. It's gotta be thousands, right? Okay, we got an apple. This time I think I'm gonna beat the first level without dying, hopefully. I probably just jinxed myself, but uh, I got through three rooms without dying, so that's a good start. Alright, we did it. Yay! Now to level two. With the face. Go away, spiders. Get the key and get out of here. Again, this is the TARDIS room. It looks gigantic from the outside. What are these creatures? I don't know, but they are in my way. Get the hell out. This room is shaped like the letter T. Now we go to the nose. What's the best version of this game? Is it Coleco, Atari? Probably arcade, like anything else, but... This is totally serviceable, though. This is not bad. This is good. A lot of times I think of an arcade game versus a 2600, and um, oftentimes the 2600 is garbage compared to it. I think this holds up pretty well. If I played it side by side, I'm sure the arcade version looks a lot better, but I think, I think as far as gameplay, it's pretty much nailed it. It doesn't look bad. It looks fine. Okay, that was the first life loss. That's too bad, I had a good run there. I'm not sure if these enemies are harder this time around, or faster. Drunky Kong says, I remember my brother and I... Oh, sorry, I don't got a chance to... 
read here. You're not letting off the pressure. <laughs> All right, two rooms down, two to go. Get down. Oh, shoot, I, I chickened out by accident. What is that thing, a pile of boxes and treasure chests? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Son of a... Gotta get the pile of boxes again. I almost ran to that corpse. I think in the arcade version, you're more clearly shooting like an arrow shape. That's one big difference. It doesn't really matter, though. Unless you're really into the idea of the, your character being like an archer. And the, and, the, and the pixel that he shoots ruins it for you. And, ugh! That hurts. Though it actually might be the case that this version of the game only repeats two levels, which would be quite a... Um... Actually, I don't remember if the arcade has multiple levels, more levels than that, but I'm saying this it could be that this game is really scaled down by only giving you two levels that repeat, and maybe the arcade version isn't like that. I just can't remember. Alright, so I beat this level now. Wow. Drunky Kong says he and his brother would play this for the same game for days straight on Coleco. That, that's pretty impressive. These guys are going fast. It's nuts. Shit. I wonder if they could make something like this game for Vectrex. It might, it might be feasible. Ah. Well, that is some venture... I uh, made it to, I guess, level 4, which was really the second iteration of level 2. Drunky Kong, if you played this game that much, you could probably tell me there's supposed to be more levels than just the two, or as far as, like, layouts go. Obviously, this was more difficult the second time around. Well, I think, obviously. Um, I have a game called Zombies. I'm going to play it just because I can't resist zombies. This is Zombies, okay. What are we doing, Zombies? Oh, I'm actually in the game right Okay. I am this I am this um purple rectangle and these two zombies are trying to kill me. Uh I think. I can go into this house. There's zombies in there too. Okay. This looks like somebody's work in progress game, I think. So um that's the zombies, I guess. <laughs> Oh, look at this. They're trying to get into the outer perimeter. You can't get in here. I have this place locked down solid. Oh, I walked into the wall. Coleco has three. Oh, three levels. Okay. So, yeah, I guess the Atari 2600 one does not match up. Then. That's too bad. I guess, like, game engine-wise, it's it's fine. But that sucks that they don't have quite all the levels. All right, what can we play now? A Tron Deadly Diff. I never played for Atari. I wonder how that plays. Um, on the in television, you have the, the the number pad, so you can move with the directional disc, and then you shoot with the number pad in one of eight directions. So I assume on Atari, not having the number pad, you would just kind of move the stick in the direction you want to shoot and press the button. The start of the game accidentally. So it's kind of funny that they replicated the Intellivision sprite. This running, as they call it, the Running Man. He's in the um, he's actually built into the television, uh, a certain area in memory that they have, where they have like built-in numbers and graphics, and this this guy is in that. They call it the Grom or something, or I don't know, maybe that's not it. I've actually been learning to program for Intellivision, so that's why I know a few of these things. I have a work in progress Utopia remake. 
hopefully just kind of remake it one for one or very close to it at first and then just add f optional features to it as I see fit that me and Rob Bob can play together. We like to play the original game. Some of the doors I'm opening are not staying open. I'm not sure what's that. that. So the recognizer should be coming any second now, I feel like. Maybe right now. Unless they cheesed out and didn't add the recognizer. Yeah, if you press the button while the, the disc is mid-air, you can summon it back to you. That's like the Intellivision version as well. It's good to be aware of that. Sometimes you have to wait a long time for it to run its full course and return to you. And what's interesting is there's so many different colors in the enemy. That, that would usually indicate the strength of the enemy. In the uh, Intellivision one, but this guy's like shooting many discs, so that's weird. Maybe it is related to the strength. But in the Intellivision one, there's only like three or four different characters. I think four. And can I not block in this one, by the way? I don't think I can because I only have the one button. This is like a stripped down one, but it moves a lot. Um, I like the way it moves. It has a good feel to it. It moves pretty quickly. Ugh. Shit. Looks like the doors get used up. Instead of you being able to walk through it as many times as you want. <clears throat> so you sh I should be getting healed, I feel like. You... The Intellivision version, I keep saying the Intellivision version, but you, you get healed over time. And I'm not sure if that's happening here. And that's actually a very short time to heal. Oh, uh oh, oh, maybe I was healing and I just turned a different color. Like, uh, maybe the colors are coded differently in this version. Oh, actually, in the Intellivision one, you don't, um, and you actually don't change color, you just get very slow when you're injured. And now I'm, now I'm turning red again, so slowly but surely. It looks like they don't have a recognizer, though, so that's unfortunate. Recognizer is the big freaking robot. He comes along and... Oh, oh, I'm dead. When he does, he comes along and he plugs up all the doors. And you have a chance to hit him. If you do, you get a lot of bonus points. But it's hard to do it. You have to be lined up just right. And he will, um... He will shoot this, like, web at you that freezes you. So you only have, like, a short window of time in which you can, um try to kill him. Alright, that was good to try, though. I, th I think in the intelligent one's all around better, but um, this is pretty cool. And again, it's pretty fast-paced. I feel like he moves sluggishly in the intelligent one, actually. How about some R Wizard of War? I never played the Atari version, but I played the arcade version quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, this is, oh, this is quite flickery. Um... I mean, there is kind of this effect that they they, they kind of appear and disappear, but I don't, this doesn't look good. Yeah, that's not, that wasn't intentional flickering. You can tell because when I kill more of them, the flickering stops. <laughs> that's just the uh, machine struggling to catch up. The main character in the game is extremely well endowed. Yeah, he could be the guy, and he could be like, you know, maybe this is actually beat him and eat him, another variant of that. Except I'm feeding monsters. Yes, I actually played beat him and eat him. I'm ashamed. My, my channel's gonna be taken down tomorrow for it. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, this is not a good port, unfortunately. Uh, the monsters should go very fast certain points, and that's not captured. Um, the flicker is pretty horrendous. Uh, like, why aren't they going fast? They're supposed to be going fast. Oh, they're going fast now. Maybe they just have to ease you up into it, you know. Maybe as you get into the higher difficulties, they go faster, higher levels. 
Okay, I'll take I'll take that part back at least. I think they're just being easy on me in the early levels. That would be cool as Ronky Kong. Ronky Kong says, I so want Wizard of War ported to Vectrex with Vecvox. Vecvox meaning the, um, it's like a synthesized voice module that you can plug into it. I did one stream that was all about the, the voice games. That was fun. Here's the bonus guy. Dude's suggesting I just poke the monsters with my enormous thing. Okay. Yeah, this could, this could be another game that does well with effect tricks, I think. I'm trying to think if it would be too much. too many characters on the screen. Probably not any worse than this. <laughs> as far as flickering. Alright, that was Wizard of War. Cool. Dare I play a sword quest game? I do not dare. I do not dare to do that. I remember liking this Superman game from 1978. These are both PAL. Should I care? I don't know. Probably the one with the, the cover art, because that means it's cool. Yay! Superman! Okay, so you go into the phone booth change between Clark Kent and Superman. That's right, you can hold the button to look at the different screens and see what's going on. I this is, again, a game I haven't played since I was very young. I don't know if I want to walk around it. Oh, the bridge blew up, and that helicopter guy and the guy with the gun are there. Okay. How do I turn back into Superman? I want to do that. There we go. I'm Superman. <clears throat> what is that thing? What is that? A vague recollection of that thing. What's going on? Is it, that's the Daily Planet or whatever it's called. Okay, I'm carrying Lois Lane. I'm gonna drop her from a height. We. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, that was Kryptonite coming after me. There's a, there's a prison, I guess. What am I doing with these people? I wanna, I'll drop her off here where the bridge blew up. Don't fall. Need to pick up the bad guys and get into jail. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that thing uh, stunned me, I think. The helicopter. Go away, Kryptonite. There's a bad guy. He's... Helicopter boy. Get back here, helicopter boy. Where's the jail? Put him in jail. Hey! The guy with the machine gun, you go to jail. What's this thing? Oh, I think I got hit by the Kryptonite. Put him in jail, put him in jail. We don't need a trial or anything. Superman just picks him up, walking on the street doing nothing. But holding a gun. No, you know, no trial, no justice, no nothing. Just put him right in jail. Get out of here, Lois Lane. What are you doing? Get it. No, no, Kryptonite. First get all the bad guys and reassemble the bridge. Okay, thanks to trying to drop her, because I don't think she's helpful. It's not right now. Okay, where was that bad guy I lost? There he is. I don't understand the geography. It's like in E.T. when everything's weird. Oh, Lois Lane restores your power if you're hit by kryptonite. Thanks, Stu. You must know this game very well. With her magic hot bot here. Where the heck is the damn prison? Oh, help me, Lois. You're my only hope. There it was. Oh, help me, Lois. Oh, don't run away. Okay, here we go. Go in jail. Put him in jail. Can't grab that. 
tried. There we go, there's two guys right there. I'm Superman, I should be able to carry them both. And as basic as this might look, this this was pretty fun, I remember. In 1978. I think that's impressive. You can make any functioning game on a home console in 1978. You're doing pretty good. I don't understand the geography in this at all. Okay, let's uh, just keep going around randomly. Alright, one guy after the one I'm carrying since two. Cool. There's that one guy. Maybe I have to go to the right randomly. Oh, crypto! Thanks, Lois. Get you out of here, though. Going into the subways accidentally or something? What am I? What is that when I'm in here? Anyway, I gotta find the bad guy again. I should just carry her around forever. Then I'm immune to kryptonite, right? I just carry her around forever. As long as we're making contacts, kryptonite can harm me. Helicopter is a bad guy? Oh. I thought there was a guy running around, though. It's convenient that when the kryptonite get you, gets you, Lois just teleports you. There we go, you're the bad guy. Okay, now I'm gonna put the bridge together. Let's get this piece. No, not you. <laughs> I say get this piece and then I pick up Lois. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the bridge? Oh, I went to the subway again, I think. Shoot. Uh. Okay, so what do I do? I just put the pieces together, I guess, before I can place them here. Alright, so let's get the other pieces. Here's another piece. Wait, I need you, Lois. Go away. Well, that thing carried her away. Oh, crap. Oh. Prison. Me, 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 me. Another piece of bridge. Uh. Oh, and that was enough. Uh. phone booth screen and I went, went, meant to go back to it because I remembered it was right next to it. Then I went back to the phone booth screen and it wasn't the phone booth screen anymore. I guess it's like randomly shuffling up the screen somehow to some degree. I'll take this bridge for you soon. You're right. Yeah, Stu says, yeah, if, it's, if you see the phone booth, it's to the right of that. Right. I'm not sure if, how much I should be going up and down and stuff. Pretty confusing. <laughs> I get tired of this. Later. 
good at flying for so long. Don't get tired. Here we go, here we go. Alright. Two down. Wait, can we start sticking them together though? How'd that work? Oh no, what happened? What the fuck? Ah! Oh. Oh. Stupid landscape. So it is, it is consistent sometimes. It seems like. Yeah. Just getting a feel for which scenes, but. Can I carry the bowls, please? Subway and up should take you to the bridge? Okay. Where's the freaking subway? The helicopter. It's one of a Superman enemy flying a helicopter. Subway up. Let's try that. This just goes forever. I think you have to. There's some meaning to the color of this. They're color coded somehow, but. I just keep going left until I see repetition. I think I'm gonna see repetition. And then if that repeats, I can go down to the next level and maybe that would be better to do. Oh, I thought I picked up Lois. Jail, that thingy. Here we go. Place them here now, or what? Good Lord. Yeah! Finally! Now what do I do? Turn to Clark and go home? It's Helicopter Harry, he first appeared in Action Comics number 16. <laughs> Okay. So, now I have mild-mannered Clark Kent. Uh oh Should I go into the... I think I won! Yay! <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Again, for 1978, yeah? Now I'm standing on the bridge. Enjoying my fixed bridge. Uh, yeah, it had this, it, this like, it's like, it reminds me of like how in E.T. and Adventure, I just, I don't understand the logic behind the geography. It's like, it seems like it's random. Anyway. Oh, not, not, maybe less, less of an extent with, um, to a lesser extent in, in Adventure. Subterranea. This is an magic game that I've never played, actually. Oh, look at that creature. <laughs> that could be fun. So this creature at the bottom just keeps viewing cre more creatures at me, I guess. And I don't think I can actually shoot him, though. It doesn't, doesn't let me go low enough. What is that? Oh, it's a floor opened up. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh. Oh. So it's, it's weird. Just sluggish control is kind of fun. Ah, damn. I die of that creature now mocking me. He's like, ha ha ha. And I don't really like the controls at all. 
helicopter Harry was killed by Lex Luthor in World Defiance. <laughs> 298. Here's helicopter Harry. That's a, a song by artist Roger Day, apparently. Okay. Well, I'm not going to play this game again. I just didn't like it. I was excited when I saw Magic because they usually make awesome games. Um, well, I should wrap this up in a little bit, though. But what else can I play before we wrap it up? How about, um, how about Star Wars be okay on the point center? What about, um, Stampede? It's a fun game. Stampede. Da -da 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 -da. I don't remember the significance of the colors. I, it might not have any significance. Oh, the, the brown ones are actually worth very few points. I guess they're slower. They're only worth three points, and the yellow ones are worth, looks like, 25 or something. Yeah, the, the brown are slow. What about the black one? Oh, something stopped. Is the game over? What happened? That was game over? What happened? Oh, I missed too many, I guess. Or something. Unless it's a game that's on like a 5 second timer. No, it's like a 30 second timer. Yeah, I got a, um... That 3 went down when I missed one of them. I'm not sure which one. It's the black ones? down again. Now I have one life or whatever. Black one just stands there, but he's the fastest. Summon. I guess he's just not running against you. Just standing there. Yeah, you, I think it's the black ones if you miss them. Either all of them or the black ones. It was life. But one of them, I think the brown ones, they hit the edge and they kind of ran forward fast. They like bounced off the edge, sort of. Ah, oh, I was able to get that. Man. You have to be, like, ready. Oh, that's right, you can touch them from underneath and they go forward. That's it. That's how you do it. Oh, I'm missing the black one again. Okay, now I at least know that how that mechanic works. I can sort of try again. So you can hit them from above or below. Push them forward, essentially. Shove them forward. The black one. Oh! So you cannot do that with the black one. You touch them and your horse is not happy. Ah! Oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright. Now it's that they have one viewer, which probably means Stu and Arturo. Well, shall we play one more game after this? And I'll call it an evening. I'm not sure. Those black ones are a pain, because you have to be like... You have to make sure you're in range. I guess you don't want to be low at the bottom or high at the top for long at all, if possible, because then you could be far out of range of the black one. who could appear anywhere like that. Where do they go when I lasso them? They just kind of disappear. Oof. Okay. That was some stampeding. Hmm. Yeah, how many games are there for this thing? It's insane. I used to like this Spider-Man game. Spider-Man. We played Superman, we could play Spider-Man. <sighs> Excuse me, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired. I'm going to wrap this up. So Space Invaders, um... The funny thing is, I have, um... Let's try a little Space Invaders. I have one of the Atari flashbacks somebody got for my birthday. And 
they're pretty much all Atari 2600 games, except the for the Space Invaders, they didn't use this one. They used some other one that I could tell was like too high resolution for it to actually be genuine 2600. It was weird. They don't let you go too far to the side. That's pretty annoying. Oh no, no. Whew. Helicopter Harry. able to go as far to the left or right as I think I should. But you can see those little it's like little posts on the ground. The green one on the left and an orangish one on the right. Those are your boundaries. That's all. That's Space Invaders. Alright. Should I just keep saying one more game all night? I saw something interesting though. There was like a, a work in progress of Archon or something like that. Let me see if I can Try that just for fun. It probably doesn't work if it's a work in progress. It actually, it's a demo. Archon demo. Interesting. Archon demo one, two, three. Archon. I'm not sure if I'm seeing um, options here or or what. But, but uh, start isn't doing anything. Button doesn't do anything. Okay. Argon 26 Magic Full Color Control. <laughs> yep, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe this is the whole demo. They're drawing the grid. So you can see they have the black and white grids like in the game Archon. And that's the extent of what they did. Baron Stain Bears. Binary Arithmetic. Oh, yeah, we can play that game. That sounds fun. Okay, I'm going to play this game Blueprint. <laughs> I remember this one. I had this one. Forget if I have to get these things in order or no. Yeah, it looks like I have to get that bottom one first. Okay. What do I do? Put it back in the house? Yeah. That's pretty challenging. I got a bomb by accident. I used to dump the bomb in the pit before it explodes and kills you. And the weird red guy is chasing your girlfriend or something. So I don't remember which one had the rectangle. Crap stain bears? <laughs> Crap stain. 
the game where I actually have to remember things, so I'm gonna be awful at it. Ugh. There we go. Oh, it's not the right one. It's not the rectangle. Where the hell did the rectangle go? I guess I'm gonna lose. I have to actually pay attention to where the things are going. I already got that one. I'm dead. I turned into an angel. Stu says blueprint is a, blueprint is a, blueprint is a great game, but this is not the best system to play in. Here we go. Okay, now the eye was the top left. The eye-shaped one. Get away, pig guy. Then we get the hat. I think the hat was right here. Yeah, now we got our missile or our cannon or something that we shoot the red guy with, if I recall correctly. Start. You have to go to the start button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this thing shoots so slow, I forgot about that. Oh, you can adjust gunpowder? How do you do that? Then you press up to put more oomph to it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I killed him. I should have killed her too, though, because I hit her. Alright, let's see if I can get this. I remembered one of them. <laughs> I think there was one here. Is this the right one? Though? Yeah. In the top right. This whole shit compared to the C64 version. Let's do Okay. This is the eyepiece. Um... Gotta get that. Yeah, I totally lost track of this one. Here we go. The eyepiece is the top right, then the top left, and then we're done. Alright, bottom left. That's the hat. And then we press the start button. Oh, she he almost got her. Oh no. Oh no, we got her. Now I die when she dies for some reason. Because our souls are entwined or something. Just made that up. Pump up the gunpowder. And now we will kill him. Oh, too soon. Oh, we have to pump it up every time. Oh. Uh, I thought that seemed like a weird mechanic. If you only had to do it once. Let's do it. Ugh, I'm a little late all the time. This time we'll get him. Other. Yeah, I'm early. I suck at this. Uh. It was so easy the first time. No, I can't do it. Yeah, last second. All right, red guy, what are you doing now? Middle, bottom left. Oh, I'm not gonna remember any of this shit. Okay, get away. You have to build the whole thing now, not just a few pieces. This is about the extent of what I remembered. Mm, that's the wrong eyepiece. We got the white eyepiece. This is the hat. Um. Alright, still have to give it a try on Commodore 64 sometime. Game over and that's stream over too. Alright, yeah. That's fun. Always fun to visit Atari. 
once in a while. It's like a zillion games to play on this thing. Like Bachelorette Party. Ready? <laughs> what? You can tell it's by the same maker of Beat em and Eat'em. Alright, I'm not going to play this though. So thanks for hanging out, Stu, Arturo, Drunky Gong, Ryan, whoever else might have been watching. And I'm not streaming this Saturday because it is my wife's and my anniversary. So we would rather celebrate her anniversary by doing anything other than my stream. And <laughs> so, But thanks for joining. I'll probably see you guys next Thursday then. So that's all. Good night.